Hola, buenos días. Soy Nico. You ought to be ashamed. But you know you, you ought to be ashamed. And today, Nico, I am in my family living room once again. <laughs> this one will actually be the last time you see me in this living room because I'm about to head back home to New York tomorrow. But before that, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetic. Some more exclusive lives, weekly videos, and be part of the podcast, which will be airing when I get back to New York because I'll upload everything. <laughs> Nico, I remember somebody commented. The podcast is airing eventually, dot, dot, dot. Listen, I've been having a lot going on in my personal life, but also I did recently a collaboration with the man himself, Fat Rabbit Killer, and everybody's like, oh, what was it like? What did it feel like? I discussed this like a couple of weeks ago on my Patreon. Nico, Patreon is where I like give you all my tea and information. So if you want to know how that went, I went into full detail about the experience, what it felt like, all that, yada, yada, yada. It is all on Patreon. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely tune in. There are three different tiers depending on how much you want to get back to the channel. But now that I'm done plugging, let's get on to the actual video. Today, we're going to be discussing why Michael Lucas is a horrible human being. Nico, giving him the title of horrible human being, aka human being, is too much of a grace for him. But I'm going to get into further detail now that people are actually speaking up because I've actually met performers who have worked with Michael Lucas and or Lucas Entertainment, if you don't know who actually runs Lucas Entertainment, and they have had horror story after horror story after horror story. But today, this backlash of the public proportion has occurred because apparently there was a situation where people were upset that IDF soldiers were basically writing their names on the bombs that they were using to commit genocide on the people of Palestine. Nico, if you do not know what's happening in Palestine, horrific, definitely check out the information. If I had more time, I would put links and articles, etc. But it's, it's a genocide that's going on that's just not being discussed because the U.S. is funding it. Nico, I did not expect this video to get monetized anyway, but we're here. <laughs> so basically, people were rightfully upset saying, don't do this weird stuff, you know. And Michael Lucas basically said, oh, I asked them in particular to write from Michael Lucas on my bomb so that they know that I'm killing them. And it's like... This was the public comment that made everyone finally push back on Michael Lucas. But if you did not know about Lucas Entertainment Studios, it has been rife with model abuse, um, accusations from a plethora of models, along with a lot of the performers that worked with them, making public comments under the threads revolving around the whole Gaza situation. He has allegedly, I'm going to start saying allegedly, even though we have public accounts, <laughs> he has allegedly given models substances so that they perform better but he would be so high on his own substances that he would give them lethal doses and they would have to be rushed to the hospital there are accusations of him not even paying models that he treats them like hot garbage um the commentary from the models up here and i've even had the personal accounts from models saying basically he'll fly you out for one day He'll treat you like trash. If you don't sleep with him, he's not going to actually use you in the videos. He's going to simply treat you like an interchangeable cog in the machine. And they told me that I was very lucky that I started working with Raheem because when you go there in Brazil, it's like a little family. Everybody gets dinner together. We all bond. We all make these connections and we go about still communicating with each other after we leave. Apparently, when you work with Lucas Entertainment, after they pay you, if you're lucky, because sometimes they do not pay you, allegedly. They basically just discard you and move on until they need to use you again. And it's even worse for black and brown models. If you did not notice in Lucas Entertainment videos, there are rarely any black models. And if they are, they have these very racially charged titles. As in, Black Cocks Matter. Nico, it, it was a racial joke that Michael Lucas played on the plight of Black Lives Matter during the whole protest situation. And he did not alert the black models in the film of the title of the film. So I remember when Max Connor got dragged because he was in the film and it was titled Black Cox Matter. And he was like, I hope you understand that I am trying to better my life and I'm combating a lot of these racial situations I've been in. But he didn't tell us the title of this movie because you are basically destroying the reputation of anybody that works for you just so that you can get your jollies off of being a dickhead, if I'm being quite honest. So 
from here, we have the proof of abuse. We have the proof of neglect. We have the proof of robbery. We have the proof of racism. I personally do not know why it took this long for Michael Lucas to have his shit like tumbling down. But from everything that I've heard from people that worked with him firsthand that I've met, from the articles I've read during this situation, he is hot garbage. Nico, Lucas Entertainment videos aren't even that great. If I'm being quite honest, they all look like they're drugged out of their mind and just slamming into each other. It's, it's not necessarily my cup of tea. Some of the videos were good. I'm not going to take that away from him. But majority of the time, same old, same old, just like men.com. But I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. Have you seen the public backlash? Because it's gotten to the point where every performer that has worked for him is basically standing up in unison to say this man is a terrible person and he's just gotten away with it for too long because of his money and connections have you heard rumors of michael lucas and lucas entertainment's a treatment of models beforehand have you seen the articles that have been posted prior to or do you feel like this is all just blown out of proportion they're just trying to take down a, a hard-working gay man that's just making public after public after public after public ignorant statement you know i definitely want to hear your opinions down below and i will see you guys next time i know this is the first video of the new year and next week we're going to be back with like actual tea and stuff but i wanted to address this one in particular because i like to give the little backstories between like porn companies if that makes sense i've done one on helix studios i've done one on coco dorms basically i'm going to try to give you a behind the scenes look of the studios that you see push out these popular movies and if you're interested in more videos like this definitely let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time Ooh. and now for a brief yet sincere shout out to this week's third tier subscribers adam j and juan verde your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel you are greatly appreciated and this week's live stream will be another virtual hangout. You guys do not understand how much you've lifted my spirits with these hangouts and seeing you guys twice a week, every week. I feel like I really made a bond with you and I really wanted to say thank you once again.